Hey, uh, do we have time to play our Louie Anderson um, ID for the show? How about that? Louie uh, did an ID for our show. I don't know who they are. That's what Mark was saying when he did the ID. I don't even know who Opie and Anthony are. I guess Louis Anderson. Who are they? Louis Anderson was on on one of the radio shows. He was on a morning show. Yeah. Earlier this week. Okay. Louis. And you got him to cut an ID for our radio show. Reluctantly, he was able to cut the ID. Uh, but... uh, you're cutting into my eating time. <laughs> my valuable eating time. I'm starving. I haven't eaten in seconds. <laughs> he has no idea the abuse we throw his way, huh? <laughs> no clue. No clue. And, and, after he cut the ID, he's like. Who are those guys, anyhow? Who are they? I never heard of them before. Uh, two guys that think you're l like the, the most unfunny, uh, funniest comedian ever to Big walk the face of guy. Earth. All the all the salespeople and everything that I was talking to said that he looked like he was ready to die. Oh, he like he's just this huge, and he's very tall. He's not just fat. He's tall and, and fat and sweating all the time, and he was smoking <laughs> cigarettes like crazy. And he's just like, eh, I, my abusive father... Oh, it's just great, Louie. And he also had Terminator glasses oh, on, right? Oh, God. <laughs> he had the, Come you know, the, the old lady, the old the, man. The wraparounds the or whatever? Wraparounds, the when wraparounds. Yeah. The when they get the cataracts and stuff, and they yeah. got to uh, wear those over their regular glasses. He was yeah. as white as a sheet of paper. Well, regular glasses won't fit around my big, fat head. <laughs> you know, I got to wear these. It was either that or just get my... Get my corneas tinted. <laughs> I can't really. Oh, yeah, I can see my glasses fog up too from all the sweat and food just <laughs> piling in like some kind of a sick flesh auger just churning <laughs> food in. They ought to paint my lower lip with those yellow horizontal stripes. Please keep arms and legs away from Hopper at all times. <laughs> I'm like a wood chipper. <laughs> he is something else, man, on that Family Feud show, too. I Has anyone seen it? No, I have not seen it. Oof. We have some clips. Any of these clips good from the Louie Anderson uh, Family yeah, Feud? Yeah, Louie. <laughs> Where's Louie? Hey, I'm hosting Family Food. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it's called Feud? I only hosted it because I thought it was a food show. <laughs> On the, oh, Christ, on now the food I'm locked network? in. I'm locked in for three years. He tried to get Richard Dawson yeah. to guest on the show, yeah. and even Richard Dawson said, No way. I'm not going on with you, you fat load. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Survey says, big fat load. <laughs> and even Richard was getting pretty porky uh, during the, the comeback. Remember that? He he actually came back to do the show after the other one uh, hung himself or uh, uh, what was Ray, his name Ray again? Combs, Ray Combs, right. right? Ray Combs like hung himself. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, then Richard Dawson came back and he was he wasn't the skinny Richard Dawson from the seventies from Hogan's he, Heroes. Yeah, he, he turned into this like blimp like pack of hot dogs stapled to the back of his neck looking thing. Huge tomato face. Yeah. <laughs> and he would still give us a kiss, Luv. <laughs> give us a kiss. <laughs> Survey says, tongue me, bitch! <laughs> Look at you, huh? you're quite cute. He'd go down the line, you know, give the father a little handshake. Yeah. The mother would get a little one on the cheek. Sure. And then the, you know, collegiate son would get a little pat on the back from Richard. And then there'd be this gorgeous little, like, high school girl daughter. It's like, give us a kiss! <laughs> you want to suck Richard's tongue, don't you, love? <laughs> Survey says Richard needs a hub up! <laughs> Top five answers on the board to this. Which hole would Richard like to stick in? <laughs> in the bum! <laughs> oh, and then when they play for the big money and he's always like got his arms around the chest. Oh, I know. He's like humping the women. Like the guys would be there and he'd put, he'd put his arm on the other. Okay, ready? Top five answers on the board to this. And and he's just kind of touching him. The girls, he's like hugging them, groping, feeling them up. <laughs> All right, love, you can do this. I know you can. Now, for luck, I'm going to put my hand down your pants. <laughs> so it makes sense. Oh, man, how true. And then uh, I guess he was too uh, uh, fat or whatever. But then they get Louie. Louie Anderson. Who is completely unfunny on this show. He cannot, and he can't even muster up any energy for it because he's always, eh. So it's all fake. He tries. Listen to some of the clips. It's pathetic. Uh, let's play one here. You and Larry, together, get 200 points. Taking me to lunch. You'll have $10,000. Yeah. 
<laughs> fat joke. What a surprise. Another fat food joke from Ten thousand dollars take me to lunch. That's an appetizer. Because I'm fat. You see, I, I always joke about how fat I am. All right, let's try another one here. Number five. Show me number five. Lift weight. I do that every time I get up. Lift weights. I do it every time I get up because I'm fat. <laughs> I'm a big fat load and father abused me with a whiskey bottle. Gee, but I can turn tragedy into comedy. <laughs> uh. Tanya. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm a social worker. Oh, my goodness. You know my family, then. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, oh Louie. <laughs> once again, see, once again, turning tragedy into comedy because I was abused by my father. We have a Louie and ice cream uh, sound clip oh, up here. Louie and ice cream? What? <laughs> oh, does uh, he do food jokes, too? I Louie and more food, this clip is called, from the Family Feud. I get excited. I, I tell you, I get excited about this. I, I'm a sucker for fun. All right. Name something people eat with a spoon. Soup. Soup? I'd rather have the ice cream, but show me soup. Yeah, me soup. Ow. Name something people eat with a spoon. How about pudding? Pudding? Get ready. If they get a strike, you get a chance. Ready? Show me pudding. <laughs> oh. Show me pudding. I need an answer. I need an answer. Cereal. 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 Cereal's up there. Yeah. Cereal. If cereal's up there and uh, you have enough points to beat them, you're going to play for 10000 If not, they're going to play for 10000 Show me yeah. Captain Crutch. Cereal. Oh. Yeah. 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 They didn't even know they won? What What was that? Sorry. Sorry. Glenn, sorry. sorry. Who's going to play fast money? <laughs> Come on, Jeff. This is a mess. Where's she going? Oh, boy. I'm not revealing that answer. Come back. We're going to play for $10,000. Yes, I got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds like he has a, <laughs> a sandwich stuck in his mouth. He probably does. Could you watch that for three seconds? No. Hey! Hey, big money! <laughs> what, Louie? <laughs> hey, you won! Oh, no, I mean you won! I didn't even know who won! Show me Captain Crutch! <laughs> Show me Puddin! Show me Puddin! Dummy Puddin, Dummy Puddin, Dummy Puddin, Dummy Puddin, Dummy Puddin, Dummy Puddin, Dummy Captain Crutch, Dummy Captain Crutch, Dummy Captain Crutch. What a tool. What a mess. Yeah, it's interesting too, is uh this a new feature on the show that the buzzer, when people get the wrong answer, it's one of my farts now. Yes it is. Alright, show me, show me pudding! Oh, sorry, that's the wrong answer. Show me Captain Crunch! Oh, it's terrible. Oh, oh you have a chance to steal. Oh, oh sorry. Wow, that had to hurt. I can't kiss you anymore. You're a mess. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> so uh, we're pretty proud of the fact that Louis Anderson did an ID for our show, Anthony. Oh, yeah, that's where we were going with this. Would you like to hear it now? Yeah, let's hear the uh, real Louis Anderson uh, doing an ID for our show. Okay. Hi, this is Louis Anderson, and whenever I'm in New York, I listen to my two favorite guys, Ophi and Anthony, on <laughs> FM Talk at 1027. You liar. What a liar. And then what did he say right after he did it? You've never met us? No, I asked him, I asked him if he, I go, could you, uh, could you ad-lib one? He's like, no. And he no. walks out. Ad -lib. He walks out. He I am not an ad-lib. I'm like, you know, could you ad-lib one? No. <laughs> no. He walks out, and he's like, who are those two guys opening it? I've never heard of them before. <laughs> and you know he's got set up next on the game too is when you hit the buzzer to try to answer the question yeah. it sends a food pellet down to him so yeah <laughs> way i could eat during the show <laughs> big fat bubble 200 pounds of shoe two bubble gum ass uh bob what's up i saw an episode the other day i started watching it It was kind of like you know when you, when you drive past the car accident you gotta look he was just like 
you just you watch, you just see him getting fatter. Like, <laughs> As the show went on. He was just like, you know, he's asking the people what they do, and they're like, the woman's like, oh, I'm a gym teacher in high school. And he's nah. like, oh, that was my favorite class. Oh, another fat joke from yeah, Louie. Like, so ah. stupid. You got to, like, look at him when he looks up at the board. He's like, show me pudding. And you look up and you just see his big fat head. He's just making these stupid expressions. That's even worse when he has to look up because then you see, like, a pelican neck gullet <laughs> thing going on. Oh, show me. Terrible. Show me pudding. <laughs> Please, people, don't get too close to Louie. My own gravitational pull from my mask can destroy you. It suck, <laughs> suck families right into me. Oh, it was terrible. Uh, all right, Bob. Thank you. Thanks, man. <laughs> I'm dying over here. Hi, it's Louis Anderson, and whenever I'm in New York, I listen to my two favorite guys, Opie and Anthony, on FM Talk at 1027. <laughs> 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 Show me, bud! <laughs> oh, he's putting in my pants. <laughs> what happened? Oh, my God. Hi, it's Louis Anderson, and whenever I'm in New York, I listen to my two favorite guys, Opie and Anthony on FM Talk at 1027. Dummy Captain Crutch! 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 Dummy pudding, dummy pudding, dummy pudding, dummy pudding, dummy pudding, dummy pudding, dummy pudding. Freaking Louie, man. Hi, it's Louie Anderson, and whenever I'm in New York, I listen to my two favorite guys. Oh, FM Talk at 1027. Show me ass cheese! I have trouble uh, wiping my own butt because my arms are too short to get around this fat body. I'm almost like a Tyrannosaurus Rex with the little <laughs> short arms. Kind of hard to wipe. Let me pull down my pants and show you, Putin! <laughs> <laughs> so we want to thank uh, Louis Anderson for the... <laughs> The show ID for uh, our show, Anthony. Yeah, thanks, Louie. <laughs> You're a good pal of ours, too. <laughs> he never heard of us? Yeah. He's never heard our show? Never heard your abusive show. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, save it. You want to save this yeah, one? Yeah, we got to save the Louis ID. Save, save it, it for a goof? <clears throat> yeah. You got to cart up the, the, the part where he says, you know, he doesn't want to ad-lib one for us. Because yeah. it is funny in the, in the background. You hear him just go, no, I don't want to do that. Nah. No, nah, I don't want to. I can't. <laughs> I'll read the script, but I'm not going <laughs> to. In time for brunch or dinner or lunch or breakfast or something. I'll do it for a rib. Oh, my God. I feel my body starting to feed off of its own fat. I haven't eaten in seconds. Please. Anything. I need a, a claret. Anything. I'll take an Altoid. Something I could chew with flavor. My God. I'm an eating machine. Dummy pudding. Dummy pudding. Dummy pudding. Dummy pudding. <laughs> uh, life with Louie. All right, Ed. <laughs> yeah, make sure you pick up my Life with Louie cartoon pasta <laughs> in your supermarket canned pasta aisle. Because that's what you want to feed your kids, isn't it? Uh, uh, that's what you want to feed your children is pasta with a picture of a big fat guy that's probably going to drop dead at any given moment. That's a great thing to, to feed your child. Yeah. It's pasta shaped like my big fat ass. Yes, in a brown sauce. Just Bob. the way you like to eat it. Bob, what's up? O and A. Yeah, what's up, man? Yo, man, you almost smashed up my car, man. <laughs> Why? I'm drinking water listening to the bit driving on the LIE. All of a sudden I hear the Louis Anderson fart. Water spits out of my mouth. And there's no wipers on the inside of the car. I'm like, holy yeah. sh! Right. All right. I'm, I'm I'm trying to wipe the window down. Driving. People are looking at me, laughing hard, and at the same time trying to control the steering wheel. Uh, Anthony, what are you guys and, doing to me, man? Anthony in rare form today. All right, Bob. Thank you. Glad you liked that one. Bye. Listen to this, Ed. Do you got the idea? And then when you say ad lib, it's right after it. Okay. All right. All right. 
Here we go. Listen. So, so Mark asked him to do an ID for our show, and he yeah. reads the stupid script. And then uh, Mark goes, could you ad lib one for the guys? Want to ad lib one? Nah. Sure. All right, dude. <laughs> nah. Nah, no, I've had enough. Nah. nah I don't well, know it's that. too much work for me already. I said like eight words, and I haven't eaten a thing. Want to ad lib one? Nah. Sure. All right, dude. Nah. <laughs> Nah. It sounded like what he a had, scumbag. Mark, man. it sounded like he intimidated you. What's wrong? Thought what he was gonna take I a bite at your arm or something? Yeah. I'm fat and ugly. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Thought he was gonna gnaw at you? Night times when Louis Anderson comes cruising. I know. That'll be another twenty minutes. Life to size like a doll's eyes. Little tenderizing down you go. Louis Anderson just keeps pounding and pounding. Water turns red with blood. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I thought that was Al Roker. And <laughs> looked up one morning, saw a PBY flying over. That's when I was most scared. Thought Louis Anderson was coming for me. Saw <laughs> Louis that? Anderson eat a rocking chair once. <laughs> <laughs> Louis Anderson can't go down with three barrels. No. <laughs> 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 Eddie, what's up? It's got to be 20 foot, maybe 25 with three tons on them. <laughs> I, I think I saw that episode. 15,000, I'll get you the head, feet, the whole damn Louis Anderson. <laughs> 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 oh, man. We got to uh, take, take a break, man. Yeah. Take a break. I got to eat. <laughs>